Police say Baltimore is stable after violent protest over the death of Freddie Gray. The National Guard helped enforce a mandatory 10 p.m. curfew for the entire city last night. Protesters eventually dispersed, but police arrested 10 people after the curfew went into effect. The unrest forced Major League Baseball to make the unprecedented move to ban fans from this afternoon's Orioles game. Jeff Begay's begins our coverage. He is in Baltimore. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. As you can see behind me this morning, this intersection is open once again. Traffic is moving through it. People are going back to work. Kids are going back to school. But overnight, this was the intersection that was the scene of the largest clashes with police. And this morning, police are still stationed at all four corners of this intersection. You see them right over there in riot gear. They are not taking any chances. The citywide curfew took effect at 10 o'clock. But people remained on the streets, some throwing bottles and rocks. Officers dressed in riot gear launched smoke canisters into the crowd. Protesters hurled them right back. In the moments leading up to the curfew, the message was loud and clear. Self-appointed peacekeepers pleaded with people to get off the streets, including Congressman Elijah Cummings. I ask you to quietly go home. And Vietnam veteran Robert Valentine. Y'all want to go home now? I don't want to we'll see y'all get no trouble out here. It's not worth it. it. You cannot prove anything with your anger. If you use your mind and do it pacified, you can get further. Sit down to the table and talk. A recorded message was blasted across the city on the ground and in the sky, warning people to go home. The overnight confrontation came after a day of mostly peaceful protest. There was singing and dancing, uplifting moments like this little boy reaching out to officers. We have to do better by this because this cannot happen again. It cannot. The police presence grew by more than 2,000. Neighboring states sent in reinforcements. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan activated the National Guard. This combined force will not tolerate violence or looting. It was all to prevent the chaos and violence of the day before when protesters, many of them teenagers, took to the streets, trashing businesses and destroying most anything they got in their way. Baltimore mother Toya Graham became a symbol of a frustrated city, caught on camera as she pulled her son from the violence. I can't imagine what Freddie Gray's mother is going through, you know, and I don't want to lose my son to the streets. Take a look behind me. This CVS was boarded up this morning. It was set on fire the first day of the clashes with police. The cleanup that began here yesterday will continue here today across the city. Gail. All right, Jeff, thank you.